both number one seeds. They're in action. The Heat, they're hosting the Hawks. The Suns, they host the Pelicans. We also get round two Ooh, of the yeah, Denver that's the one. and yes. Grizzlies. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to be sitting down in front of. Both the Suns and the Heat, they were hot in their respective game ones, though. But if you had to choose, which were you more impressed by, Richard? Uh, look, I think the Pelicans are a better team, and we've been sitting here talking off break. But I think the Miami Heat, they came out and sent a, sent a message because that, that East was so close mm -hmm. all year long. Yeah. There could have been four teams that were the number one seed. They earned the number one seed, and then they came out. And that Atlanta Hawks team, the way they shut down Trey Young, that was beautiful. It is not easy to do, especially in these moments where he thrives and plays his best basketball. They were just on top of it. I agree, and that was exactly my answer. The stat line, I'm impressed by the Miami Heat because as a collective, one of the best switching or better switching defenses, holding Trey Young to 1 for 12 from the field, 0 for 7 from 3. That is a very, very rare stat line for Trey. Oh. I'm going to ignore the question completely. That's what number one seeds are supposed to I do. Just, They're done. supposed to be teams <laughs> that come out of the play-in tournament by a lot of points at home. I'm going to spotlight a player whose performance Ooh. impressed me. DeAndre Ayton hmm. coming out like a house yes. of fire in the playoffs. I think he had 21, nine rebounds, four blocks. Maybe at 25, I Give can't remember. Give the man his he, money. He, Run he him looked, his bag. He looked ready for the playoffs. Scoring on floaters easily. Made it three. Really seemed to relish the physical challenge of Jonas Valanciunas. Got out, worked on the boards a little bit. He had that volleyball spike block where he looked angry. That's the X factor. That's Ooh, the guy who yeah. turns Number. the Suns from really great team to like, uh-oh, this team's and a problem. And, and, very and if we day. do get, if we do get Suns Warriors, he is, he's got to be huge and mean and nasty in that series for them to win. So those are the 1-8 matchups. Let's go to the 2-7 matchup in the East, though, because I mentioned it earlier. Kyrie Irving fined $50,000 for the comments and gestures that he made. Here's what Kevin Durant had to say about all that. You think he enjoys <coughs> playing that role, like the villain role where everybody's coming at him like that? I mean, I don't know. Some, everybody got different moves. Some days he might be up for it. Some days he might not. But he understands what this job entails. You know, we understand what um, this situation is. You know, he might not be in the mood for it next game. Who knows? It's rooted in love. They once loved you. They once cheered for you, and you know, uh, bought your merchandise, and you know, had you know, life altering experiences coming to games, watching you play. So. When it kind of gets ripped from them from just something like a trade or demanding a trade or wanting to leave, like they feel like a piece of them is gone too. I was very deep and philosophical of Kevin Durant. What did you think of that, Zach? I think he's probably right. It's not going to change. The fans are going to go at Kyrie, and that's what happens when you say, if you'll have me here, I'll resign, and then you say, I'm out of here. That's what's going to happen. What do you think of the fine, Shanae? Cosign retweet. I think it's necessary by the NBA. You know, you're seeing, you're trying to regulate a number of behaviors that we're seeing in the postseason, and I'm not, I'm not surprised. I mean, yeah. It, well, the, look, it, I understand when, when they are the ex, you know, relationship, you forget about the good times. You only focus on the bads and how he left. He did not leave the way I think Boston felt, uh, felt like they deserved. That's fair enough. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.